What is autoimmunity? My name is Dr. Philip Boob. I practice in Austin, Texas at my practice called Oob Medical. And I want to tell you a little bit about autoimmunity. Um, chances are you've been lied to by the medical community. The conventional medical doctors think that autoimmunity is something that you are born with, um, or at least you're born with the risk factors to develop autoimmunity, and it's just one of those things that happens to you. In functional medicine, we don't believe that at all, and we believe that functional medicine can help you reverse your autoimmune condition, and it doesn't matter which one it is. It doesn't matter if it's ankylosing spondylitis, multiple sclerosis, Graves' disease, Hashimoto's disease, lupus, Sjogren's, anything. All of your autoimmune conditions, we believe, originate in the gut. And so if we can restore your gut health and turn down your immune system, then it will stop attacking your own body. Your immune system was never designed to attack your own body. In fact, each one of your immune cells goes through a rigorous process so that it doesn't identify itself. So if that is happening, then what went wrong? It's not, we used to think that it was that the body just didn't realize that it was attacking itself, but now new medical research is pointing more and more towards the gut. And I was actually taught some of that in conventional medical school, that there are certain bacteria linked to certain autoimmune conditions. Now, some people have that bacteria and don't have that autoimmune condition, but take ankylosing spondylitis, for example. That's linked to campylobacter growth in your bowels. Not a campylobacter infection, just campylobacter growth in your bowels. So how does campylobacter turn into an autoimmune condition? We're still trying to figure that out, but what we've seen through functional medicine is that if we can restore your gut lining and restore the link between you and the bacteria and the fungus in your bowels, and you can seal your bowel walls, meaning leaky gut, which I've done videos on in the past, if you can seal those walls and restore the balance, then your immune system stops attacking things. It's not that your immune system has identified your back or your, your salivary glands or your skin as foreign, so like psoriasis and eczema, is that your, your immune system has identified something in your bowels that it thinks is foreign and is trying to invade. It could be as simple as, a, as, as an apple. So apple could be coming into your system, but because you've got open walls or leaky gut, that apple's crossing the barrier and coming into your human body. And once something's inside of your body, you don't have a choice. The immune system has to respond and has to eradicate that. You're not supposed to have apple floating around in the bloodstream. You're supposed to have the nutrients and vitamins from the apple, but not actually the apple. So what happens is your immune system identifies that 3D structure that's involved with the apple or the campylobacter or the yeast or the bacteria, whatever it has identified, it learns the 3D structure of it. That's how your immune system identifies foreign objects. It just learns 3D structures. What just so happens that what we have, um, it's called, um, I lost the word for a second. <laughs> it's called molecular mimicry. So molecular mimicry happens in your bowels. What that means is your immune system has identified a molecule that it needs to attack. After it learns that molecule, it tells its buddies, hey, learn this molecule, we need to kill it. It just so happens that many of our molecules mimic what happens in bacteria and food, and so now we develop this autoimmune reaction. Your immune system is identifying something in your bowels, in your spine or your salivary glands or your skin, whatever your autoimmune condition is, is the collateral damage. So if we rewind that picture and you go back to the beginning, the beginning was it happened in the bowels. And it happened in the bowels because there was leaky gut, food coming across, bacteria coming across, yeast coming across that your immune system identified. So we work on healing the bowels by removing food triggers, things like gluten, dairy, sometimes eggs, nightshades, and other foods that you might know you're already sensitive to. Um, so removing the food triggers prevents further damage and restoring the intestinal lining uh, lowers the immune system because now there's a wall that's preventing your body from seeing what's going on on the other side. As we restore the lining, then we start restoring the bacteria that's there. So with probiotics and digestive enzymes and stomach acid, we can restore the digestive process to feed the right bacteria to grow in your bowels instead of the wrong bowel, uh, bacteria in your bowels. In modern medicine, we use a ton of antibiotics. I've used a ton of antibiotics in the past. And that just every time you take a course of antibiotics, it brings your bowels down a notch and a notch and a notch. And your, your bacterial organisms get simpler and simpler and your yeast organisms grow bigger and bigger. There's limited real estate in your bowels and there's always an organism in every section of that real estate in your bowels. So if you're slaughtering your bacteria, something's gotta grow in its place and it just so happens to be yeast. So yeast overgrowth is common. I've done a video on that of what you can do to limit your yeast overgrowth. Um, it's not a yeast infection, it's a yeast overgrowth. 
But all these things lead to autoimmunity. We've had multiple patients reverse their autoimmunity by working with us and improving their bowel health, improving their nutrition. So I urge you, look up a functional medicine doctor, come see us, call, text, email us, get involved, let us help you get on the right pathway to optimal health and to reversing your autoimmune condition. The longer you've had your autoimmune condition, the harder it is to reverse, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. It just takes hard work. So hopefully we can help you. If not, look up a functional medicine practitioner in your area. You can go to functionalmedicine.org and look up other practitioners that might be able to help you. If this is helpful to you, please like and share the video. Um, share it with someone who you know has autoimmune issues and um, let's help change the world.